uh, we, we talked earlier today about your win in Dallas and how you kind of have this resurgence in your career. But you've said that if you don't win, you will retire. Do you stand by that? And, and is there added pressure in your mind knowing that this could be your last press conference, your last weigh-in? I'm, I'm, I'm carefree, man. I have no stress in my life. If I lose, I'm, I'm okay with walking away. But I'm not, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to win. I'm here to win. You know, I know I have a tough point in front of me with up Adam. I know I got my, my work cut out for me, but the alignment will continue. You brought in Joe Goosen for this camp. Uh, why did you make that change? What prompted you to, after all this time? See, I didn't bring him in. I went to Joe you, Goosen. I went to yes. him. You know, I, I hunted him down because I, I, I knew it was time to make a change. I, I knew it was this time for, uh, you know, like I said, this is my last run. I gotta make it count. I can't leave not one stone unturned. And uh, I think the, the best the best team I could have come up with was someone like Joe because uh, Joe makes you work. And uh, that's what I needed. I needed to work. I needed to work on mistakes. And uh, I believe this fight is the winner is going to be whoever catches the first mistake. So whoever makes the mistake, they're going to lose. So I got to make sure that I keep my P's and Q's and don't let Adam catch my hit and my mistake. Adam, did you do anything differently for this camp? How, how was training camp for you? That was great. Um, 12 weeks. Put just some weights, got a little bit stronger. Um, I sport a lot, <laughs> like I always do. This guy's pushed me hard, and uh, I can't wait to showcase all this on, on Saturday. I'm just ready to go. You know, Chris has fought uh, for the title uh, three times. Yes. You have yet to do that. Do you feel as though that experience is something that will benefit him, or are you not concerned about him being on the big stage before? Uh, this is like a new experience for me because I'm the headliner, so it's a lot more media stuff, which is great. But uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, the ring is two guys fighting each other, and uh, me and Chris both like to fight, so nobody's gonna run, nobody's gonna hide. Uh, <laughs> I just can't wait to get it over with, to tell the truth, and just enjoy myself because I love punching people in the face. <laughs> As he says it with a smile. <laughs> you both do. Two of the nicest guys in boxing, Chris. When you when you look across at Adam, and and you know the kind of guy he is. Yeah. Does that make it harder for you to go in there against him? Absolutely not. No disrespect toward him or anybody. You know, um, I respect everybody outside the ring. Once we're in the ring, we ain't friends no more. Friends is out the door. Friendships out the door. After the fight, after the bells ring, the final bell. We'll shake hands, give each other a hug, and go on with our lives. The main thing is, I want to make sure that I go back to his family, he goes back to his family. But the main thing is, I'm, I'm here to put on a show. I'm here to put on a show. It's lights, camera, action, time to shine. Looking forward to that. You know, speaking of putting on a show, your opponent has had 15 knockouts. When you watch his fights, what stands out to you? Violent puncher. He just keeps coming, and his smile. <laughs> Honestly, I love that. I, that's that's one of the reasons I actually am a fan of him, you know. But at the end of the day, it all comes out the door, and uh, I think I'm gonna put a frown on his face that night.